In today's video, I'm gonna explain the right and wrong type of foods that you should be using to lose weight. Hey guys, this is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I wanna address the idea of how you choose the foods that are going to allow you to reach your goals. And today, I'm actually doing a question for my Instagram direct message, so two things. If you wanna send me direct messages, uh, I'll try to answer them. Uh, I try to keep up with as many of them as I can. You guys ask some great questions and sometimes it takes me a while to get around to them. But two, if you actually like this type of advice, please hit the subscribe button. It's what keeps me excited about putting out this YouTube content um, when I'm a full-time coach and I'm very busy, but putting these videos out, when I see you guys subscribing and, and especially commenting below, I answer as many of the comments as I can as well. So do that and then here's the question. Let's talk about it and I'm gonna answer it. Hey Paul, I've been following you for a while on your YouTube channel, Pro Physique, and I just registered for your 90 day transformation challenge. I've taken a look at the different sample meal plans for the different caloric goals and would just like to ask a few questions about it considering a lot of the foods on the list aren't available in my country. I don't own a food scale and I'm not sure how much of an issue it will be during the transformation challenge. All right guys, so certainly there is a big challenge when it comes to providing meal plans for a competition that's available worldwide. But as a coach, I've coached competitors from Australia, New Zealand, Europe, Canada, South America, and the one commonality is that nutrition facts are available for foods in every country. Culturally, regionally, there are going to be different food options, but if we focus on not just the source of the foods, but the macronutrient goals for each day, this is where we can really learn the value of nutrition. This is what changed my life. When I decided to first get into uh, dieting for competition, my coach gave me a macronutrient plan. Now, I'll admit it wasn't super comfortable at first. It was very uncomfortable for me to go, okay, well, what exactly do I need to eat? It required me to do a little bit of work. But that work that I did, looking at food labels, looking up nutrition values for things like chicken and banana and steak and eggs, just learning what was in foods sometimes was eye-opening. You know, learning that some foods that we think of as carbohydrate foods are actually higher in fat. Some foods that we think of as protein foods are actually higher in fat. And, and so you go through this education process and you learn to eliminate foods that don't necessarily fit your goals while also understanding that food is not binary. It's not good or bad, okay? Any food can be good as long as you don't have a health issue. Any food can be bad if you overeat it. Sure, there are some foods that are very difficult to overeat, but there's also things that we need to enjoy. It's not just a process of taking food in, okay? There's also a psychological component. We need to be social. We need to be able to enjoy the process, enjoy the foods. So by understanding that the meal plans that we're providing are kind of a baseline for you, if you need to swap something out, so for example, say you live in an area where it's very hard to get salmon, you can easily swap that out for another fish with similar, similar macronutrients or another lean protein source. And if you're vegan, the vegan plans, those are gonna be probably the most flexible because there are so many different protein sources, whether it's my core nutritionals, uh, core vegan way, way core vegan protein powder or if it's something um, like a lupini bean that might be more accessible in certain areas versus others the point being here is that we don't want to get hung up on magic foods there are no magic foods sure there are basic whole foods that are going to be better choices the real value in learning nutrition is that the nutrition labels that we look at are going to be based on a standard like product that's given but they're not always the same. If you want the best results, it's going to come from preparing your own food, weighing your own food. A food scale, if that is going to get in your way of success, then I'm sorry, you're never gonna be successful. A food scale might cost 10, $20, right? And just by learning how to weigh your food and look at your food and then eat your food, you're going to be educating yourself for the rest of your life, okay? My clients don't succeed just when they're being coached by me, they have tools that for the rest of their life they'll be able to use. So comment below if you are actually very familiar with macro tracking or if it's something that intimidates you because these are questions that once I get the answers to, I can definitely help you guys with. But the goal 
of this transformation challenge, it's not just to, to look good naked, okay? That is a great byproduct. The goal is for you to get in control of your life, to be able to make decisions, stick to your goals, have community support, we are here for you, so that you learn that you are in control. There's no one else in control. No one's coming to rescue you. You are gonna do it, and you're gonna be empowered by the process that you go through. Okay, so here's another quick thing I can help you with. If you're not that familiar with flexible dieting, I've got a free book on my website. Right? I've been doing this for more than a decade. I have an amazing staff of coaches at ProPhysique who are all gonna be a part of this private group for the Transformation Challenge. The real thing I want to do is educate you guys. And so go there, get that free book, The Flexible Dieting Guide, and it will just basically explain to you how you can go from a mindset of like good food, bad food, to how do we fit the foods that we enjoy into our daily macronutrient goals? What are good protein sources? Is, is peanut butter a good protein source? Well, it's got much more fat than protein, right? So we start to learn. If something says the word healthy on it, does that make it healthy? No. If something says low fat, does that make it ha healthy? No. You have to start to understand what the big picture is with the things that we put in our mouths. And you'll start to learn that fast food isn't necessarily bad. There are good fast food options. If you need to eat somewhere that only has fast food, you can make a good option, make a good choice, right? So, and these are the things that I'm gonna show you guys over the course of this transformation challenge. Now I've already started and the numbers are a little bit mind boggling. The scale is down a bunch. Now I did of course overeat over the holidays, but uh, I'll do a one week update for you guys on Monday. We'll see where we're at. But the point being is I'm gonna show you when I go out to eat, when I'm, you know, social, when I'm traveling, when I'm working, I'm gonna show you how I eat, how I eat at restaurants. But mostly when I'm able to, I'm going to prepare my own meals like I have this week. They're all in the fridge in bulk so that I can simply eat and go and track and be done with it. Take the stress out of the process. If you put in the work today so that for the next couple days your food is all set, you take the stress out of it. And stress is one of the things that leads us to overeat the most, especially at the end of the day. If you find that you're overeating at the end of the day, it's usually because that's when willpower is the most gone. Your willpower depletes throughout the day. Your stress increases throughout the day. And usually at the end of the day, you need something. And sometimes that's some extra food, right? So if you have that all planned out, you're already um, well fed, you're gonna be less stressed, you're gonna be better prepared. And this is where the transformation challenge begins. It begins with behavior change, thinking change. Of course, we're gonna get some really cool results. We're gonna get six pack abs, whatever your physique goal is, we're gonna get there. But it's not about just the outside change. It's about what happens to us between our ears. You guys have a great Wednesday and I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow.